Welcome to my channel, in this video we'll completely discuss the cross product in detail and we'll test your knowledge in the end of the video. In earlier video we learned about multiplication of two vectors called scalar product or dot product, but dot product is scalar quantity. There is another way of multiplication of two vectors to get vector quantity as resultant called vector product or cross product, because it is denoted by multiplication sign. Let's check the definition. Cross product is a binary operation on two vectors in three-dimensional space. It results in a vector that is perpendicular to both vectors. The vector product of two vectors, A and B, is denoted by a cross B. Its resultant vector is perpendicular to A and B. For example torque it represent the cross or vector product. A times B equals a B sine theta. A is the magnitude of vector A, B is the magnitude of vector B, theta is the angle between them, and unit vector N represent the direction perpendicular to the plane containing the two vectors. We can find its direction by right-hand rule which we will discuss in next section of the video. Representation of cross product. Here we have two vectors A and B the cross product is represented as a cross B. If vector A is in component form like this is represented as right-hand rule. In this rule, we can stretch our right hand so that the index finger of the right hand is in the direction of the first vector, and the middle finger is in the direction of the second vector. Then, the thumb of the right hand indicates the direction or unit vector n in another way we can understand it. If you put your right hand at the edge of the vector b and curl your fingers in the direction of vector a, the direction of thumb will represent the unit vector or cross product. With the help of the right hand rule, we can easily show that vector's cross product is not commutative. How to find cross product of two vectors? Let's solve one of the example. Consider vector A equals 1, 3, 4 and vector B equals 2, 7, negative 5. Find a cross B. Now we use operation of matrix to solve this. We consider the matrix of 3 by 3 order, in which I, J, K will be in first row then in second row. We'll use the components of first vector. And in third row we'll use components of second vector. Now we'll find the determinant of this matrix like this, after solving we'll get the answer. Properties of cross product. 1. Cross product is not commutative. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. 2. It shows distributive property. 3. If we take self product of vector it results 0. A cross A equals 0. Because the angle is 0. So sine of zero is zero terms of unit vectors we can represent them as i cross i equals zero j cross j equals zero k cross k equals zero four the cross product of parallel vectors is zero five the cross product is equal to the area of parallelogram formed by these vectors six the cross product of perpendicular vector gives maximum results because sine 90 is equal to 1. In case of unit vectors we use one technique, we draw a circle and mention unit vectors i, j and k in anti-clockwise direction. Now if we have to find i cross j equal to, we'll check from circle what is next to j which is k, so i cross j equals k, similarly, j cross k equals i and k cross i equals j, how to find magnitude and angle of cross product. Let us assume two vectors, then the magnitude of two vectors is given by the formula. Putting in formula we can find But if we have given cross product and magnitudes of vector A and B, then angle can be found by this formula. Now let's take a short test. Solve these problems and comment your answer. Thank you for watching make sure to like share and subscribe my channel.